everything you know about this world is going to be changed. You need to literally relax. No, I'm being dead serious. No, you need to no, not be dead serious. You need to relax. Everything is going to change. This, this is it. I'm your host, Aisha, and each week I invite an incredible guest into my kitchen to make their all-time favorite dish and talk the this is it moments of their lives. My guest today is an internet OG. I'm talking one of Time's 25 most influential people on the web. In 2004, he created and patented the like button. Yes, you heard that correctly. Through historic website Dig, and he went on to become a key player in tech entrepreneurship. His career flourished at Google Ventures, True Ventures. He's one of the first to invest in Facebook, Twitter. He's here today, and we're going to get into it all, including the major waves he continues to make in the shift from Web 2 to Web 3. Angel investor, tech entrepreneur, and today, chef, Kevin Rose. Thank you so much for being here. For How me. are you? I'm doing great. What's going on? You're very gracious for having me on your first episode. Thank You're you. in good company. Uh, the very first time I hosted another podcast for someone that was just getting started was Tim Ferriss. So I was his very first guest Stop on it. his show. So That's insane. I wish you the same amount of luck because he has you. gone on to become a huge, massive success. Thank you. But uh, yeah, it's an honor to be here. Thank you so much. It's an honor to have you here. We were talking earlier, you know, a little off camera about what we were going to be cooking today. Mm -hmm. And for me, as you know, Japan is a very special place. Japan is your thing. It is, it's my, my home. I think everyone knows Japan is your thing. I would like it for it to be my home, but okay. it's not actually my home. <laughs> Some of the highest in beef that they have to offer. And I know you're not. A Why huge... are you so extra? What? This... I'm just like your all-time favorite dish, no, and it's like, I, we got the Wagyu, I could have done like, the potatoes are purple. So here's the deal. This type of A5 Wagyu beef mm. is a very special varietal that has been fed acorns for most of their life. And so it's like a fatty acorn feed. Acorns? Yes. And it gives them this extra kind of nutty flavor and marbling that you don't normally get with most A5 beef. So this okay. is like the highest in amazing A5 Wagyu steak that you could ever possibly ask for. Of course we have Japanese sweet potatoes because in uh, Okinawa, the little island off of Japan, they have the highest concentration of centenarians. The big staples of their diet is the purple Japanese sweet potato. A lot of antioxidants okay. that are wrapped in with so the this purple is gonna make us color. Live longer. I mean, Purple potatoes, long We're having life. super fatty beef. No, I'm just saying. We might be Tell canceling the things out. Tell people that the potatoes out. are going to make them live long. I, I believe so, yes. Kevin requested a wasabi grater, everyone. Take a look. Did you know wasabi has its own grater? How did you find this? I told I you. I found it at the market where it was, shout out to Marukai, where I got all of these ingredients besides the Wagyu because, <laughs> I had to as have you that can see. In. Have you always been like a techie, computery, internet-y? Yeah. I'm old enough now that when I was into computers, it was not a cool thing to do. Hmm. So when I was growing up, I was made fun of a lot. It really? was It was one of these things where you were a geek, you were a nerd. But it was always like, you know, it was always a passion of mine to kind of like figure these things out. Like to play with the... Play with the electronics, take them apart, like reassemble them. That was like my thing. You were doing that when you were a kid? Like... 12, 13 kind of thing. 13 years old, taking yeah. apart what electronics? Just computers. Like I, I had, well, I didn't really have like a computer. Like the first computers, not to make you sound. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like the punch cards. No, not the, not the first computers. The iPod came out when I was like, I don't know, in middle school. Are you I was serious? like in sixth grade. Yes, I was like You're 10 years me old. Here. You're no, me that familiar. was the iPod. This was like, but I would say like... early 90s. Okay. Is when I started cool. doing it. Yeah. And I, I talked to my dad. It was a great time to be alive. It was a great time. <laughs> well, we saw the invention of the internet and, and of, you know, I lived before there were cell phones. You don't remember pagers. Like, I had oh a pager. God. Did so you Kevin have a pager? Kevin is taking us back, y'all. No, I did not have a pager. My first phone was a Dwayne Wade Sidekick 3. Oh, Sidekicks were yeah, dope. Yeah, it was, it was Let's dope. Let's start with the meat, though. Yeah, we got, so we got to get that Let's going. Let's do some cooking because okay. we're doing too much shopping. Hand me the, uh, the salt and pepper there, if you okay, would. Okay, salt and pepper. Thank you. Cut oh, these. shit, you got an automatic one. Yeah, what did this you is think like this legit. was? This legit. So, Aisha, the one thing about um, these, these steaks is you don't need to go crazy. Like, there's no seasoning. It's like salt Kevin, and pepper. Kevin, hold it. the phone. What? No seasoning? No, just Kevin, salt and pepper. Kevin, this is a black household. What, I like, will when season we, that when we acorn wagyu What are you going to do? I don't know, garlic powder, onion powder, no, 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 paprika, no, no. a little None of that. Chinese, don't insult, a little don't, ins mustard. don't insult the Japanese. I don't know, some hot honey. 
please tell us your most memorable this is it moment. I don't know about you, but like I, I never let myself believe that, it, it, you know when people it? say like you can kind of like, if you, if you, if you say it's going to be done, you're kind of like, you know, you have to knock on wood because it might not happen. Yeah. So every single time I've had something that's kind of like, you know, quote unquote amazing, mm -hmm. I just don't let myself get too carried away with it. And so I don't let myself get too excited about okay. that moment. So you're kind of always like your guard is up. Yeah, my, my guard is always up. I, I don't think I've ever had a moment to relax because I, I still I can't let myself relax. I have, I have more to accomplish. What are you most proud of that you have accomplished already since you're still striving? Um, probably my little girls. Aww. Tell us about a time where, I don't know, you had a huge opportunity and like, Something bad happened. I had a term like, sheet from Google to sell my company for a hundred million dollars, and okay. uh, <laughs> about four, three months into the process, they pulled out last minute. It was one of those things where, you know, you think one thing, and then the rug just gets completely pulled out from underneath you. Now that said, now that I look back on it, I was in my mid twenties. Okay. And I was living that lifestyle that you refer to where you look, watched Ignatian and it was just like chaos and craziness you and all that. You were just lit. I was just swarmed with attractive women and it was oh, just like... As just, <laughs> still your vibe. <laughs> you guys, we need to just do a little shot of Daria. I had a lot of friends that actually did sell their companies younger and a lot of them ended up getting in like drugs and this like chasing something and, and I, I don't know it just it didn't work out well because mm. they weren't mature enough to have when you don't have any like you didn't come from money Definitely. like I didn't come from money like mm. I declared bankruptcy in 2001 wow. I had my car repossessed like I didn't have any no. money oh well, yeah of course like oh my god I think that's like shocking for a lot of people just coming from you because you're like so successful it's like hard to picture like people that we're fans of or that have done amazing things you know going through a struggle period? I, it's not a struggle though. I mean, like we have clean drinking water. Oh, like, oh, like take life us is... to the great <laughs> yes. No, but like, I, you know gratitude. me, we've, we've been friends long enough that you know that like my glass is always half full. What is like your greatest investment? Like you put your money there, best decision of your life. Do you want to talk about like your personal? Your personal Personal was Twitter for sure. Okay, Twitter, and then after Twitter, what is it? Because Twitter is like, somebody could have guessed that. Something else. <laughs> yeah. Something back else. Then. And what is Blue Bottle Coffee? Are you like a coffee person? Yeah, I'm a good, I, I like a good pour over coffee. And it was like there was a new wave of coffee that was it was coming on the scene where people were like tired of Starbucks. And so Blue Bottle, Bottle was uh, <gasps> San Francisco tired of Starbucks? favorite. I love a little dirty chai. Okay. Uh, sugar a million bomb. grams sugar, of sugar. sugar I bomb. know. Sugar bomb. I know. Somebody's giving up sugar. No, I know. I haven't had one in a minute. Now I just get my regular chai and I just, you know. Leave all These my are joy way to the too side. Thick, by the way. I know. I'm trying to. First of all, all right. somebody might like that. Take your time. Okay. Um, all right. So your second greatest investment. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's hard because some of them are actually a lot of fun. In which case, it's you can consider that to be a really amazing investment in terms of like the people you get to hang out with and who you, you know, the stuff you get to play with, like. Um, so, uh, or a ring. Do you know the rings that you wear? That, yes, that like track you and make yeah. you feel awful by yourself. Yeah, exactly. Got make you, you feel bad when you slept. So, uh, yeah. my buddy was the CEO like, for you need a to while. Sleep. It, they're, they're great though. I You're mean, like, I know. That was a fun one. Let's go back to Twitter for a hot second because you saw that it changed. X. Yes, what? Yeah, that's Elon. What? How do you feel about that? Uh, I think that Elon is, is out of his element in that he is a fantastic and brilliant mind in our space, mm. but he's trying to um, build a consumer product and you can't be, uh, he's too data driven and kind of um, doesn't understand the nuance of, of human psyche and personality and like, there, there's, a, there's a lot that goes into building a social application okay. And if you don't have that and you're more on the scientist side, mm -hmm. you're never going to get it right. Okay. Are you referring to like how so many people are like emotionally distraught? Not Doing taking it into the, consideration how the audience you, would feel exactly. about that. You used to work Let's at drizzle. Let's drizzle. Area 51. Were there aliens there or not? Um, I never saw any aliens, no. <sighs> Do you one saw is, something. No, I mean, it, it's an area in the Nevada test site. I worked in the Nevada test site. It's, okay. it's very, um, 
it, it's insanely well guarded. Even if you work there, you just can't drive up to Area 50. Well, I mean, you could drive up to it, but there's a guard gate about five miles outside once you're inside the Nevada test site. Okay. And if you don't have a reason to be there, then they, then you just can't, you know, they stop you and they say, why are you here? And so you have to have a work order or it's some a tight other. Ship. It's a tight ship. Okay, got you. And this well, was this was twenty years ago. Do you believe ago. in aliens? Like, let's 100%. start from there. I believe that we, the U.S. government, definitely has biologics. That's just like public information. I want you to give us something that's not public. Yeah. So when you drive in, you enter about Junior a mile Bank. in. There's a small security gate that checks that you have the proper security clearance to get in the test site. So that's what you do every single day just to get in the test site. Now. Area 51 is all the way out here. It's in the upper right-hand corner. Okay. And there's all these other areas. There's area 12, area 8, area 6. There's like all these different areas. Really? I thought it was only 51. And there's a hill right here okay. that overlooks area 51. Oh, I have chills. Are you going to tell us something scary? You can drive up here even if you don't have clearance to get into area 51. Everybody would congregate here at night. Who's everybody? Not everybody, like a few people. Who are these people? <laughs> Don't Why worry are about they it. congregating? I, yeah, that's a, these are all oh, great those, questions. That's, that's what you can't tell us. What you would do is when you drove up here and you sat and you overlooked Area 51, you would literally see, and this is how you knew it was a hangout spot, nothing else, it was like the desert, mm -hmm. hundreds of cigarette butts laying around on, on the ground because Shut people up. would just sit there and smoke and just watch the show. Stop it. So that, that's the best I can give you. I can't tell you anything more than that. The but. show? What show? I don't know what show. That's, <gasps> I, I don't know. I can't really. Wait, you didn't even tell us how you cope with the market. Like, well, how do you cope with, like, the stress of the digital world? Well, the best way to put it is that you just have to right-size your investment in any of these markets so that it doesn't bother you if they go up or down. Everybody who is a consumer of this is going to have their feelings about it yeah. and maybe write you a tweet or two. Sure. How do you cope with that, like, you know, just it being so unpredictable? Uh, it's not easy. It mm -hmm. takes practice. Um, it's still hard because, you know, it's hard not to read the X comments and see what people are saying. <laughs> the X comments. Do you really refer to it as the X now? Of course. You do? No. The, the one thing that you have to realize is there's a couple things that, that, are, that are key, and this will be, be applicable to you as you launch your show and go beyond, which is that every time you have 100 people that watch your show, mm -hmm. Imagine you had a party right now, and there's 100 people in the room. Oh, my God. How Last year, my birthday. How many people, <laughs> there's at least one person where you're like, uh, you've had too much to drink, or I didn't really want this, hang out with this person, yeah. or, you know, the internet is no different. So every couple hundred people that follow you, that, that comment on what you do, there's going to be some people out there that are just like out for, they had a bad day. They, 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 something went sideways in their life and they want to just give you shit. Mm -hmm. And so once you realize that, then this is hot. you can just, yeah, we want it hot. Okay. Then, then you can just let it go and you don't have to focus on it and dwell on it so much. Okay. Follow anybody and look at their at replies and what people are responding to them and you're always going to get assholes. Yeah. It's, it's just, a, it's numbers. It's usually about it's numbers them game. and not about you. Yeah, exactly. For sure. You ready? Two minutes, starting now. Oh my God, this looks crazy. Oh, we gotta get your uh, smoke thing going. I know, but I'm like, isn't that gonna like blast all the noise? We have to step back. <laughs> uh, turn off the what? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Turn off the fan. How do I turn on the back center one? What is this? What? What is that? What? Yeah, let's talk about your tattoos. Let's talk about your tattoos. This, this one on this side. I've never seen this oh, one. Oh, Shenong. He's the guy that discovered tea. Oh my god. <laughs> you need to say that on camera. <laughs> okay, gorgeous. This is rolling? Everything's rolling? Wait, hold on. Oh yeah. Cheer. What are we saying, Grace? No, no, no. I pray before I eat. Um, you don't. Yeah, I swear to God I do. You wanna why, hear it? Why are you drinking then? Kevin. Oh okay. my <laughs> god. <laughs> Are we gonna get okay. personal? Sorry, sorry. Don't okay, do here that. Here we go. Here we go. Don't do that. What we're gonna do to start things off is we're gonna dip it in a little bit of wasabi. So take your bite. Okay. Do a, just a tiny little touch of wasabi, just a little touchers. Okay. There's a touch that's already in the soy okay. sauce. Nice and then and now seasoned. go in. Is 
that good? It's really unbelievable. Yeah, have, no, a, I'm have a little shocked. cheers. Oh my God. Kevin, thank you. Yeah. Now I see why this is your all time favorite meal. The wasabi, and the wasabi is not too spicy. Right, exactly. That's the one thing about fresh wasabi. Most people don't get when you go to a, a typical sushi restaurant, they use like a, like a powder, mm -hmm. and it's just like, it's a, it's a bomb. It's like just to hit you and knock you back. Fresh wasabi is like way more delicate. Oh my God. I mean, Thank it just you brings so you much. to Japan. I it mean, does. that's, a, that's why you... I like this. It's like, it, it brings me, I've had some great, I've had the luxury of having some awesome beef in Japan. And when you order it like this and bring it to your house and cook it, I mean, it's so heavy and rich. This is not your average like weekly meal, yeah. right? It's something you do the like. The fact that you said this was your all-time favorite, I was like. No, like, it's like <laughs> it's something you do like twice a year, you know? Yeah. There's a great place in New York actually called uh, Japan Premium Beef. Ooh. And it's a it's, if you live in New York, uh, I, we didn't get this from there. We got this from a place called Crowd Cow, but um, Japan Premium Beef is a local butcher that flies in the best Japanese beef. Mm -hmm. And Dara and I used to go and just like order it, like we get it way too often. Really? When yeah. did you live in New York? Oh, uh, Hodinki? Hodinki, that's Hodinki. right. Hodinki. The watch days. We talked about this off camera, but there was a podcast earlier today and the, and the person asked me like, you know, how you deal with failure? Like how do you, how do you, um, reconcile that in your brain? And I, and I, and I told them the truth, which is at the end of the day, when I'm gone, if my little girls can look and say, dad did some crazy shit, hmm. that's all that I care about. Really? A hundred percent. Because oh my gosh. we're going to die. Like it could be I hit by a, bo a, a bus walking outside. Stuff it a lot. No, 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 no. Like this is real talk. Like you don't have to be all frightened about it. Aliens are going to get us. I told you I'm a chicken. <laughs> I'm not. The aliens are not going to get us. I'm just saying us. like. Kevin like, Rose but, thinks the aliens but, are going to get is, us. But this is, is what, this is what you're doing. This is how you're living your life when you're saying like, I'm just going to go for it. Mm -hmm. Because why not? The key in this whole thing is just to find your life's work. Mm. And that could be, and for my daughters, I don't care if they're, they're working in a library or a bookstore, like we're selling out of print books or they're a CEO of a Fortune 500. As long as you find your life's work, then you're happy. Well, You've like been listening to this life. Alan Watts shit? You're into it now. I've been listening to this Alan Watts shit I've been trying to get her into more. Yeah, but I. Uh, you're, you're starting to get into more spiritual stuff. Yeah. Uh, you see, so you're starting to stray away a little bit? Kevin? You're having alcohol? This is a, it's Kevin. I you see just what you're trying shit. to do here. I mean, you want and to I'm go not... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Exactly. Last quick thing. What's your next move? And don't lie, okay? Because I want to know what's the next cool thing. What's going on? I'm really, really spending a lot of nights and weekends watching where AI is going. Ooh. I know we touched on it briefly, but I can tell you this, oh. I'm not... Also very scary. No, no, it's not scary. Yes, it is. It's going to change everything. In the next 10 years, everything you know about this world is going to be changed. You need to literally relax. No, I'm being dead serious. No, you need to no, not be dead serious. You need to relax. Is going to change. What's gonna happen to us? You will have, have an augmented brain, of course. Do you think it's gonna be that bad? Hundred percent. Oh my god. This is gonna help a lot of people. It actually is providing comfort to a lot of people. I'm That's amazing. Really yeah. No, steal them. Um. So, are you investing in that? Look, I want to um, know the deets here. You're giving me a lot of umbrella chat. I want to know hardcore. Hardcore. Honestly. What you're trying to do with AI, and what you think the craziest thing that is going to happen to us that comes from AI. In people. the next five years, um, AI will just be predicting and doing things that we just could have never imagined. It'll be able to take in your genome, what customize genome? regulations. Sir. <laughs> what genome? I don't have a genome. I don't have a genome at all. Don't I know what that, that is. Um, but but seriously though, to get back to your question, what are you trying to get into? Yeah, AI is AI is what I'm paying attention to. Okay. Uh, and and then for me, it's like because I spent so much of my life in in startups, I think we we really need to get out of our phones. Ooh. And we need to have a little bit more work life balance, and I want to try and figure out how to support that because there's just too much time on the phone. That's a good one. It's just but don't like, you think AI will make that like even more dramatic? Like suddenly we'll be like in, in, pods? in some ways, and in other ways it won't. Like I think it'll it, like there'll be anti AI AI, which will actually combat a lot of the bad things that are happening. Okay, so you have a big idea 
on how to get people off their phones. I, that's, I mean, my, my hope is to empower AI to help us do more things like that. Beautiful. Like, because if AI can be used for bad, it can also be used for good, right? Mm -hmm. And so I want to figure out how we can leverage it for the, for the good side of things. Amazing. Kevin, thank you so much. Thanks for having me as your this first guest. This is like guest. my last fry bag. The next I can't believe Ferris. I'm thanking you for being here during my last fry bag. Just give me a sec. Is it good? You overcook it? Honey, was, this is was it one Okinawan of yours? Okinawan sweet potatoes. Yeah, it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, Dari's going it's to just, town over there in the it's corner. It's just all good. By the Why way, we, we have her? a whole staff of people here that are ready to dive in on the steak, so we've got to let them go. <laughs> Absolutely. We need to, we need, we got to let the people have what they want, okay? Kevin Rose, everybody, thank you so thank much. You Seriously, me. I'm so, so honored to have had you in my little home. I hope that you had a good time. Do you have a good time? Yeah, it's great to be here. This episode is powered by Squareheads TV.